y'all because nobody wanted to help me. Nobody. Nobody wanted to fucking help me, my nigga. Nobody. So fuck that shit, man. Somebody come forward. Let it be known, man. Who the fuck did she rob? Who the fuck did she drug? Was there sex involved? Was there sex involved? Because that's a motherfucking crime that R. Kelly is going through right at this very moment. Bill Cosby locked the fuck up for it. Kyle Massey on the motherfucking uh, front lines. It's Me Too bullshit and book more niggas than a motherfucking crack era, man. I had to get off this ass. I had to get off my ass. I had to get to the cash. I had to stick to the plan. I had to quit taking Xanax. I had to quit popping Percocet. I had to get off the codeine. I had to quit the promethazine. I had to do it my This is three thousand dollars cash, all one hundred dollar bills, and I want to invite you to a free training that shows you how I went from ten dollars an hour to ten thousand dollars a month with my online business. Text cash to three zero one two seven three one two three eight. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast and the Men 2 Podcast. If you have not subscribed to the Men 2 Podcast, there are things over there that you're missing. I'm actually going to, on this video, post, you probably already seen it, um, where I actually show you a clip of the Men 2, one of the episodes that you've missed that has not been, this is new shit that you are not, have not seen. Now, she come out there, ah, nigga, you know, you hit my fucking sister like a fucking man, and shit like that. N bitch, she stole from me. My sister ain't got to steal from you. <laughs> bitch, when she come around, motherfuckers know to put the weed down. Tuck your chain in. She damn near got the same effect as damn Debo. Welcome back to the Men 2 Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is my random thoughts. Um, I want to talk to you right fast about, um, about the movie Friday. When, growing up, when we watch movies, we watch. Um, I had a shout out to my nigga that's doing the website. I gotta read that fucking email, that fucking agreement. We do have the website. Um, actually, shout out to everybody who um hollered back about um doing the website and shit like that. Um, my man reached out to me and shit like that, so I'm running with him, and we're gonna see what's going on. Shout out to my man, um, Romeo Grande with a. Uh, Viva Legrand, and it's, it's in another language, so I can't truly um, pronounce it, but we got some really good, uh, got a real good situation going on. I just appreciate AO Nation in general, just everybody, I'm just so glad that I, um, I've acquired um, a real fan base of people who are actually real, who do real shit in real life. Um, shout out to everybody who came over. Um, from the last video, uh, donation went crazy and shit like that. Um, I appreciate the love. Like I said, y'all understand what's going on as far as, you know, how we rock. So I just appreciate the love. Whenever you hit that um, PayPal, that cash, you have that Venmo, whatever like that. I wish I could continue shouting y'all out, but there's no way I can do that without um, the people that are watching trying to take this shit down. Um, without them, you know, trying to do something. And um, the IRS is real on some other shit. So that's what that is. But let's talk about this Cardi B shit. Uh, we got to get this shit together. Um, this is Are You Serious? And my random thoughts because we're on the Big Face podcast and uh, the Me and Two podcast. Um, so Cardi B. Cardi B. And, and, and if you're wondering how this has to do with the Me and Two situation, uh, hold, hold your britches. Hold your britches. 
First, I want to speak on this right here because uh, Cardi B is actively suing a YouTuber by the name of Tasha K. Shout out to Katrina Gibbs. Um, if you have not subscribed to Conversation With Me, you need to do so at this point in time while I drink my cranberry grape juice out of my Gatorade bottle. And it my vape. Somebody asked me if I still vape. Yeah. Alright, alright, so Cardi B is saying leave me alone, this this is the issue I have, and I, I, I damn, I really should have put this shit on Stupid Rappers, and I might still put this shit on Stupid Rappers, because um, we can just make the whole sweep, like fuck it, just, just go on all the channels, because it has so much to do with the rappers, um, how in the fuck, but this is another reason why the higher ups make sure that they get fucking idiots to put into the uh, the death pit because it'll be extremely entertaining. How in the fuck can you say leave me alone? You understand when you say leave me alone, you're talking about the people that fuck with you too. You don't have the good without the bad. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say, oh, everybody say good stuff about me. Don't say anything bad. Don't work like that. Trust me, it don't work like that. For every video that someone's made in um, giving me props and, and showing love to me and shit like that, there's somebody else who's made a video, fuck nigga, fat nigga, uh, greasy lip, uh, uh, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas just rock with that and it just it's just how it goes. So you got to take that shit how it rocks. You don't come into this game entertainment and get all the good and when you're in, because everybody who comes in, usually you come in from an underdog position, meaning that when Nicki Minaj came in, she was an underdog to Lil' Kim. When Cardi B came in, she was an underdog to Nicki Minaj, and it just keeps going like that. Everybody wants to root for the underdog. Now that Cardi B is on top, there's nothing for you to do, Cardi, but to fall at this point. Same thing with Drake. I made a post last night saying... Drake is done. There's nothing else he can do. There's nothing else he can do at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Jesse Smollett situation like this. Calling the police. I, I was just watching, um, I was at Grandma House, um, after I cut the grass and shit. And, um, turn the shit to VH1, um, cause I like to watch mindless shit. But I couldn't watch that, that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. They're promoting a new episode by saying that Mimi was a victim of a fucking home invasion. Not to mention that fucking Jocelyn Hernandez and Mimi sat down in a fucking restaurant and Jocelyn Hernandez... I really want to put that shit up, dog. Jocelyn Hernandez, as soon as she sat down, she told the lady to get the drink. This is important. She said... She said to Mimi, where's the girl with the drink? It's like the producers told her, show the people. See, when you can't act, they have to give you those Denzel nuances. Those um, uh, Eddie Murphy nuances. Those Eddie Griffin nuances. You know, like, you can build suspense of what you're trying to say. And you can show people that you're stressed out by getting mad that the drinks aren't coming fast enough. So, as soon as she sit down, where's this bitch ass with the drinks? First off, you didn't even tell the motherfucker what you wanted. She just came to the table and said, I need a drink. I need a drink bad. But that's something totally different. This shit is so fucking fake, it's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. Uh, I gotta tell you something. Uh, Stevie J got another girl pregnant. She got him on child support. Trying to fake cry. And on top of that shit... How in the fuck can Mimi... Why in the fuck would we believe anything that Mimi said about a fucking home invasion? Like, this the same hoe that swore to God that wasn't no motherfucking sex tape. Why in the fuck would anybody believe this hoe? But, you know, for the people who want to watch that shit, I, I guess the shit is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know... God damn. It's, it, the shit is just so fucking annoying, though, man. But back to Cardi B, like I said, it just 
you know, you come in the game and, and, and you just there's there's only so much that you can do once you're up here. Anybody that you've seen at the highest, Jay Z is really the only person. Puff Daddy, I guess, but he's had a few scandals here and there. But Jay Z really been holding that shit really, really good. Um, because he's done other shit other than music. Now, I guess that's the point that Drake is at. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's time for you to, you know what I'm saying, start having endeavors outside of music so that we don't put our whole consciousness on whether you're hot or not on your music. Because there's only so much you can do. We've seen, like, you've already fallen so fucking far from, you know what I'm saying, um, now, if, anytime I get on the fucking camera, I can't remember, uh, so far gone, so far gone, you so far gone from so far gone, but that's what everybody, whatever artist you want there, you know, the old shit, we want the old boost, we want the old Gucci, some people want the old Wayne, but not the old, old Wayne, the old Wayne, the Carter two Wayne, um, not the Hot Boys Wayne. The Hot Boys Wayne was good too, whatever like that. But I myself like the Carter Wayne better than the Hot Boys Wayne. But it's what it is. Um, when you're selling six, let's get to it. When you're selling six, your whole career is the same way with the gangster shit. Same way with the gangster shit. Except with the gangster shit. No, no, no. When I'm saying selling six, I mean you have nothing else but six. Jay Z talked that gangster shit, but he could rap. You know what I'm saying? We like his lyrical ability. A nigga like Plies, nigga like Alley Boy. Your whole, your rap, and how we see you as a gangster is one. So if you lose the gangster shit, it's over with. It's over. Because we if we can't believe you, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason why 6 9 doesn't have that issue because we never saw him as a gangster. It was just fun to play like he was for whatever fucking reason. Um, but he can come out and do anything. When you're selling sex... For a gangster, let's say Allen Boy, when he got uh, jumped out of Mexicans, whatever like that, the gangster shit is over. Even though everybody's been jumped before, but perception is everything. Um, Shot Glizzy. Um, you get robbed and, and beat up and shit like that. It's over for you. It's over. We can't do shit. It's over. When a bitch is selling sex, nobody wants to see Lil' Kim. Nobody, like, used to be you would want to fuck Lil' Kim. You don't want to fuck Lil' Kim now. Even with Kaya. I think that's the issue with Kaya. I thought that's the thing that's the issue with her from the beginning. Is that she wasn't really sexy. She was just like a hood hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that hoe, you know what I'm saying? That hoe freaky. And she had more of a female audience. But she can rap, though. Kaya could rap. With Cardi B and with Nicki Minaj. Even with Nicki Minaj. But she she's... I don't know, Nicki Minaj is, is, and Nicki Minaj is gonna, I think she's gonna always be on top of the female game because there wasn't, I don't think no one has ever, I don't think we've had a rapper in this generation that is that good at rapping and is also the idea of what sexy is. Ass implants aside, titty implants aside, whatever like that, when you think Nicki Minaj, red bone bad bitch. She's the original red bone bad bitch. Like this, this is like this be for real. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj coming this motherfucker. She shut it down. We can have these talks about Lauren London, Megan Good. Yes, they all. But she is the rapper who did it. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about who's the baddest bitch on the planet. We talking who's the baddest rapper that can rap the best. It's Nicki Minaj. And at this point, let me get back to it. Selling sex, you can only sell it if people want to have sex with you. That's why Kai didn't go, you know what I'm saying? Trina was very, very good. Very, Trina was very good. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to fuck her. She's, and that's why I hate to see her on Love and Hip Hop. But 
hate to see Trick Daddy on uh, Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they fucked up. I want to do a story about Safari also uh, because he's just the, the whole, the industry's punching bag. If you're trying to get some, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get in the news and shit like that, just go slap Safari. That's what he's turning into. And I'm going to speak about that. I really Let me write that down because I, I don't want to forget that. Um, But with Cardi B, it's only a matter of time. So now you get the, the you know, a pussy stain. And that's not the first time this shit has been came out. Her days are numbered. And the way she's acting now, Cardi B is a nothing ass bitch. She can't get away from it. She's a, you can give a nothing ass nigga money. Let's just do it. You can give a nothing ass nigga money. You know, he doing a little, selling a little weed, whatever like that, but he smoke weed. He always broke and shit like that. He, you know what I'm saying? The only reason why he, you know what I'm saying, even keep weed is because his motherfucking cousin got the goddamn weed and he just throw him ounces just to keep that nigga the fuck away from him. Just a fuck up. Yeah, you go ahead, man. Goddamn. You embarrassing this type shit. But nigga, swear to God, he's jugging. You can get that nigga five racks. He's gonna still be broke. You understand? The government plays this the best. We can give you nothing as bitches income tax. You're still gonna be broke. And by the time, no saying in, income tax come around next year, you're gonna be beating down our fucking doors again. Where the fuck my check at? Because you broke as fuck. Cardi B is the same way. That's why I hate the fact that Offset got trapped with this bitch. I hate the fact he got trapped with this bitch. It, uh, she got more money than him. She got more money. You're not understanding. The Migos Offset, because when the Migos were going downhill, it was only because niggas thought they can just fuck over the, the uh, Migos and shit like that. It was Offset that held that shit together. Like, oh, no, we ain't no hoes. We ain't no hoes. We ain't gonna just go like that. He did that. That's why he got the motherfucking deal with Bentley. You know what I'm saying? He's the standout. You know, motherfuckers would like for Quavo to be the standout, you know, the lead man. But real niggas know Offset is really, you know what I'm saying, what hip. What really held that whole thing together when them niggas in DC was on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas all around trying niggas and shit like that. But um I hate he got caught up in that because he could he thought he's looking at the success and the money right now and not looking at this whole was like this the bitch you go back to Nicki Minaj and you see her on with, with uh on the come up DVD with Fendi and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to do a thing, whatever like that. You go even further back, she was in the, you know, the same uh, art school that Tupac was in, like, the, for the arts and shit like that. She can play in movies. You know what I'm saying? High c capacity for learning. Um, I'm not going to speak on her and the nigga she fucking with. Not nah, that, that just proves even more, you know what I'm saying, you know, of what it is. But Cardi B wasn't that. She was just a ratchet hoe that ratchets... Ratchet hoes, nothing ass bitches related with the same shit. Same shit with Kaya, man. It was just and to be city girls. You know what I'm saying? Like these hoes ain't bad. They not no outstanding hoes. They just say the ratchet Sukihana, this Sukihana bitch. Ratchet, nothing ass bitches relate to this shit. That's every ratchet bitches on to ego. Ratchet hoes really don't fuck with Nicki Minaj like that. They feel like she too uppity. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj stand for bad bitches. We sedated. We not on that. You know what I'm saying? That, that dirty nigga shit. That dirty hoe shit. We on some, you know what I'm saying? Like real upper echelon type shit. Like hoes that don't even fuck with dope boys on that level. They really just fuck with like... Lawyers on some shit like that, like hoes that go to school on some shit. You know what I'm saying? City girls, Cardi B and them, they relate to the 
hoes with the pot bellies and shit like that. Uh, with the, you know what I'm saying? The hoes that don't mind they track showing and shit like that. One eyelash hanging down and, and, and um, you can always, listen to me. You can always tell a nothing ass bitch. Listen to me now. When, if all they nails ain't the same color, if the bitch ain't got sense enough to take all that shit off so at least the shit match, you can have your regular fingernails. Don't have one blue, one pink, one up, one down type. What the fuck? Look at the whole thing. Look, man, look what you got going on, man. And you know what the whole smell. She got any odor about it and don't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? That's a nothing ass bitch. But that's what Cardi B and the City Girls stand for. This is why Nicki Minaj is going to be here long after Cardi B is gone. And I've been said this in the whole Cardi B, Nicki Minaj show. I couldn't believe how fair weather uh, people was to just say, we just going to swap out this one for that one. It's like, hold up, whoa. Like, this, you can't even compare the two. You can't even compare the two. One's Mexican, one's black. What are we talking about? That's the first thing. Let's go there first. Nicki Minaj is the original bad bitch. This also, let's be honest though, man. Come on, man. She stood for that. That's Nicki Minaj. I mean, and if for nothing else, for what she did, man, for what the fuck she stood for, Cardi B is not no motherfucking innovator. I, I, I lied. I lied. You know what? She did start some shit because City Girls, Suki Hana, all of these nasty, nothing ass hoes, they're coming up right after her because she came up off of being on Instagram. You know when you sucking a nigga dick and he just got done playing basketball? That type of shit. You know when you're pussy stink and you trying to hide it from a nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that they own. And nothing ass hoes relate. Oh, that shit just funny. No, it's not funny, bitch. This is what you live. I like Dave Chappelle jokes that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that that's the most funny shit. Folks that fuck with me fuck with, you know what I'm saying, it's the same shit. Bitch, you relate to that shit. Not funny. So, um, uh, that's what that is, man. Um, but the main thing about everything is just how retarded a bitch I want all the good and none of the bad. The whole really said, leave me alone. How, and that just, it just blew my mind. Blew my mind. Leave me alone is what she said. So, in what world, on what planet does that work? Everyone shows love. No one hates. Nobody gives a fuck about your story except, except, the niggas who want to learn a lesson. Let's get to the me and two part of this video. Okay. There was a video sent to me. Uh, Tasha K uh, put this shit out. Um, she went and dug up some shit or whatever like that. I don't know if she dug it up or maybe this is just some shit that um, Carter just posted. But it's a video where Carter B admits, and I, I'll put that shit at the beginning of the video too. Uh, I'll put it at the beginning so y'all can see what's going on. So that'll be at the beginning, so you'll see that. So you look at that video where she actually lets it be known that she did the same thing that Bill Cosby did. This is what needs to be spoken about. And, and see, this is where I was kind of see, it's like maybe I should do a, a, a you know, two and three different videos because it is it's so many places that this shit can go. But I'll just put this shit in all different places. She did the same thing that Bill Cosby did. Except when Bill Cosby was with these hoes, these bitches was taking Quaaludes on their own. If anything, Bill Cosby was only guilty of all right, so if we both taking Quaaludes or we both taking Xanax balls and shit like that, and we we in the fuck, we know we finna fuck whatever like that, it's all good. But you get to the room whatever like that, and you just a little more bored out than me whatever. But you still you still conscious enough to get on top. We haven't, you know what I'm saying? It's the best sex you can have. It's high sex. You know what I'm saying? 
like, we turned up, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, we can't even barely move, but we fucking in this motherfucker. Like, we gonna fall asleep like this. You know what I'm saying? But you come back years and years afterwards. What I want is for those niggas who was drugged and robbed by Cardi B to come fucking forward. That's what I want. The niggas who was drugged and fucking goddamn robbed by Cardi B come to the motherfucking front, man. Fuck this shit, dog. We finna put some equal... This what the Men Too movement is about. Out of her own mouth, she let it be known that when times was hard, she had to drug and rob niggas to get what she needed. You And that's another thing I want you to uh, understand about um, a, a lot of them. And fuck it, we just finna go here. Fuck it, let's just do it. I want you to pay attention to every other race. See... Niggas, we the only race of people who will still be out in the fucking street, still in our wild stage, and decide to have a child. Not to slow us down, but just to prove that we were there. Yes, alright, so some niggas impregnate bitches, but a nigga can't, a nigga can't, he can get you pregnant. A nigga can't even get you pregnant. A nigga can't do shit but nut in you. At that point, you can get a plan B. There's so many ways that you can block that shit. A nigga has no way of blocking anything that you have going on once he's nutted. That's it. That, that's all he can do. So, bitch, once again, it's back in your court. You can spray spermicide or whatever the fuck on a nigga nut and it's all good. You don't have to, you don't, can't no nigga fucking, uh, nigga juice me up. Nigga goddamn, uh, what the fuck they call it? Nigga trap me. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Bitch, worse come to worse, you have an abortion this old week. Fuck is you saying? Nigga trap me. Bitch, how the fuck a nigga gonna get you fucking pregnant and you had a baby and he put you on child support? Fuck is you saying? That's enough, let me write that shit down about Gucci Mane. I damn near forgot about that shit, man. Yeah, fuck that shit tonight, dog. So what I was saying, dog, niggas is the only race of motherfuckers that'll do that shit. You see Cardi B ain't have no motherfucking child until she found a nigga that had it. Until she secured the motherfucking bag. Man, a bitch will have four kids before she even meet the goddamn plug. Fuck, how the fuck, bitch, you gonna have to hide all four of them fucking kids for that nigga to bust up in you, ho? How the fuck you gonna hide four kids for goddamn three months till this nigga feel safe enough to take the condom off? Well, fuck it, nigga might take the condom off the first fucking night, but bitch, it might not happen like that. Ho, you wishing and praying that this nigga got, oh, I hope the fuck, I hope the my goddamn guy shit. Looking at them all. God damn. Bitch. Fuck, you nothing ass bitch. You can't even goddamn trap the goddamn plug. You can't never secure shit. You done secured a crackhead, a cokehead, a nigga who can't stop smoking weed, and a nigga who got a pill problem. This nigga, but he, that nigga uh, doing, you know what I'm saying? That nigga in prison right now. The fuck? Got a roster full of dust. This, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't finna fuck with you, ho. No matter how much makeup, how much... You know what I'm saying? You can put a, a, a 10 pounds of that shit on your fucking head. Man, niggas not fucking with you, bitch. You got four kids, but you 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 in a, you taking apple cider baths and, and vinegar uh, showers and, and baths and shit like that, trying to tighten that shit up. Bitch, you can't do nothing but tighten the lips. Soon as niggas get inside that motherfucker, man, it's like a fresh air. You nothing ass bitch. Carter B did it the right way. She successfully trapped a nigga. As offset if you want to have that baby with that motherfucker. Of course he gonna have to say what the fuck he gotta say, but we know what the fuck going on. Man, that bitch got your nuts in her hand. Fuck are you saying? Hate that nigga did that, man. Hate that shit, man. Hate to see a good nigga go down, man. But uh, yeah, man. So let's go ahead and get this thing started, man. I want any nigga, man, who goddamn got uh Sexually assaulted, uh, uh, armed robbery, um, drugs, like I said, man, anything, man. She's already made her own motherfucking. So if these motherfuckers can come back from 50 years on Bill Cosby, I know goddamn well we can go back at like two, 
Look, this hoe ain't been on number goddamn six months, damn near. That hoe ain't really been on like that for real, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga, I know we can find these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I need all my high bridge niggas, all my... But see, that's the whole... That's the reason why we continue to lose, because niggas won't step the fuck up. This is what the Men Too movement was made for. Bitches are not the only fucking victims. Women are not the only victims. Men too are put in these positions. Not all men are fucking vicious. There are men who get nervous when they talk to a girl. And a veteran, a veteran bitch can tell that. A veteran bitch knows to stalk outside of the fucking law firm. Stalk outside of the fucking utility place to see who come out that motherfucker. I know what kind of job he got. Like stalk and pray. Because this is their pussy. Sex is their life. This is how they get paid. I need anybody. Because these, the fuck. So if a bitch would have came, dog, if a bitch would have came forward that Bill Cosby, I, I never had sex with her. I never, I, I never met that motherfucker. Would they have believed him or her? So I don't give a fuck who the fuck it is. I need somebody to come forth and say I was one of the people who got drugged and fucking robbed. We went to this hotel and this fucking happened. And what on what? Earth, what planet, what country can a man say, I did what I had to do? I, uh, uh, drugging hoes and robbing them at the hotel because times was hard. Where can that happen at? But one of our biggest stars, not our biggest stars because she's Hispanic. Shout out to the Mexicans. I didn't say Mexican. I said Hispanic. She's Hispanic. So she's not ours. That was one of the biggest problems I fucking had. I told y'all, Lil Pump, Takashi 69, Lil Zan, and motherfucking Cardi B, man. No, actually, I, not not uh, Lil Zan. He, he's Lil Skies. Just all these fucking foreigners, and there are no restrictions on them. No restrictions. NBA young boy Kodak Black, Kevin Gates. Everybody had to go through the ring of fire. These niggas went through SoundCloud and it was all good and nobody seeing this? We the only one that gotta fight tooth and nail and they can just get in the fucking game? Fuck that shit, man. Nigga tired of that shit, dog. Man, these niggas out this motherfucker been working for years. Niggas. Black men. Black women that have been working for years on their crowd. Don't tell me that the fucking people didn't choose them because y'all chose them motherfuckers. When I say y'all, I mean the higher ups. We understand what's going on. That payola bullshit wasn't no fucking rumor. That was real shit. Y'all chose a motherfucker and y'all paid the way through. But every time we, we try to get a skillful person through the goddamn door, you shut that motherfucker. Nigga tired of it, man. Told y'all damn near a year ago, man, that it's a fucking mess can take over. Bruno Mars, Pit Bull, the list goes goddamn on. Can't get a nigga in the door to get a good deal for, to save a motherfucker life. You see, goddamn, uh, your boy, I was just talking about this shit, man. See, your boy Glock 9 just got fucked over by goddamn baby. That nigga signed a deal, you ain't heard about that nigga since, man. Damn. So fuck that shit, man. Somebody come forward. Let it be known, man. Who the fuck did she rob? Who the fuck did she drug? Was there sex involved? Was there sex involved? Because that's a motherfucking crime that R. Kelly is going through right at this very moment. Bill Cosby locked the fuck up for it. Kyle Massey on the motherfucking uh, front lines. It's me too bullshit and book more niggas than the motherfucking crack era, man. Y'all stay around this bitch playing around. Fuck. 
Nigga, get up and do something. I'm finna talk about that goddamn bullshit in Dallas too. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about that here. I, I, cause I, I, I don't have. A, I'm not gonna have a popular um, take on that shit. I'm not gonna have a popular take on that. I'm not. Cause I wanna know if she was just dropping somebody off. How did she get out the car? I wanna know how that happened. That's it. And have you seen them like that? Big Fast Podcast, the Me and Two Podcast, and a Stupid Rapper Show. Um, make sure you hit the PayPal. Y'all know what it does. Make sure you subscribe to the Me and Two Podcast. Subscribe to the Me and Two Podcast. It's not hard to get to at all. And make sure you sign the Me and Two Petition. And for those men that were sexually assaulted, drugged, and robbed, Come forward. That's the only way we're going to stop this motherfucking Me Too monster. Because just as soon as they do not accept a fucking man, it's over. See y'all in a minute.